In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom sized tray or basket. Let's start by gathering our supplies. You'll need a piece of faux leather or cork fabric. You can determine the size by following the instructions in the pattern found on our website, sallytomato.com. You'll also need a ruler, chalk wheel, rotary punch, rivet setter and anvil, small rivets, a spool of polyester thread, scissors, and a few helpful notions are double-sided basting tape, wonder clips, and a Teflon foot. Start with your fabric and measure your desired height on all four corners in from each side edge. Then you're going to measure a half inch in from each side edge on all four corners and draw a diagonal line between each of the corner marks. After marking each corner, cut along the diagonal lines. Then flip your fabric over to the wrong side and fold all four sides a quarter inch to the wrong side. You can use some double-sided basting tape or wonder clips to hold the folds in place. So one eighth inch from the folded edge and repeat to hem all four sides. After all of your sides are hemmed, fold each corner in half, matching the edge of your height lines. Use some of the sewing clips to hold the fold and sew along the height. One tip to make sure your fabric doesn't shift on you as you sew is to start about a quarter of an inch in and backstitch to the top edge. Then sew forward along the height line. Repeat to sew all four corners. Next, top stitch along the top hemmed edge, starting at the height line and sewing to the point along your previous top stitching. This will help the fabric lay flat. So here's what your project should look like so far. Fold each corner against the nearest side edge, and you're going to punch a hole about 3 8 of an inch down from the top edge of the corner using a rotary punch. Your hole should be no larger than the post of your rivet. Then take the post of your rivet and poke it through your fabric. There should be no more than 1 8 inch of the post sticking past your fabric. If there's more than that, you're using a rivet that's too large. Then take the cap and snap it to the post. Next, take your rivet tools. You'll want the concave side of the tools against each side of the rivet. Center the rivet on the anvil and place the setter on the cap side. Hit the rivet a few times with a hammer to set it in place. Then you'll repeat the same process for the rest of the corners, folding each corner in the same direction. If you'd like, you can install additional rivets on each corner for more support, or you could hot glue the folds flatter. After your rivets are installed, fold each corner with wrong sides together and clip each edge. Let your project sit overnight to help mold the fabric into shape. After that, your tray or basket is ready to use. I think you'll find that this project comes together very quickly. Trays and baskets can be used for organizing all sorts of things. And the fact that you can make any custom size means that you can make one for every room in your home. You can find this pattern on sallytomato.com. Remember, all the supplies are available on our website, or you can request them at your local fabric shop. Be sure to share pictures of how you use your new tray or basket with hashtag SallyTomato. Happy sewing!